Peace guys, so I got an example of trash to cash for you. This is the ASUS computer. This is important to note what CPU it has, AKA the processor. We have a Core i7. This is also important if this is on here, what operating system it has so you can get an idea of the time frame this computer was released or how old the computer is. We know it's relatively old seeing that it shipped with Windows 7 because we're up to Windows 10 now and probably gonna be going to something else you know, in the near future. But with that being the case, the i7 processor is very popular and still goes for good money. Now, what I'm going to do, because the screen is broken, I don't know if you can see the ink has been released. Sometimes you can't see this. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut on your flashlight and put it up to the screen and do an inspection. And then you'll see, you know, certain imperfections and things like that and see ink or whatever, depending on what type of screen it is. And then you'll see if it was broken. Um, also, another important thing to do is to, to check out the model number of the computer. And this specific model number is here, you know. Um, and then from there, you know what you're dealing with. You also got some serials and things like that that you can look up. But saying that to say, when you get a computer or a TV or an, a device with a screen, check the different models and things like that. And, um, you know, see what you can salvage from it. With this specific machine, I'm going to salvage the motherboard, considering that it has a core i7 CPU. This is definitely upgradable to Windows 10, because um, that's a, a very powerful processor. Um, they do have many different versions of the i7. I don't know what series this is, but with it being an i7, we know that this will be upgradable if it was in a functioning condition. So I have two things that I can do. We can replace the screen, which is relatively easy. You just remove these screws around the bezel and then you pop the hinges out and then remove a couple ribbon cables and you replace the LCD. Or what we can do is we can just scrap it for the motherboard and sell that. And that's the way that I'm going to go. Just uh, scrapping it for the motherboard. I think I do have the power cord to it. Um, yeah, I'm almost certain I have that power cord probably got it here in the car but um yeah this is a way to do trash to cash so like i said we got two different things that we can do we could repair it and sell it or we could sell it for just the motherboard i'm going to go for the second option and sell it for the motherboard because that's most likely the way that i'm going to get the most value from it without having to do much because all i have to do now is just take it apart and remove the board list it for sale and wait for someone to buy it or to give me an offer and boom, I cashed out. My cost, nothing. I show you how to do this. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to the book below or in the description rather, wherever that may be. Click it and get started doing what I do, man. Turn the trash to cash. Okay, so I broke it down. We have a bezel, which is the outside of the screen assembly on the front of the computer. We have the keyboard with touchpad. We have the USB ports and audio ports. We have the Wi-Fi card, the DVD drive. We have the motherboard and right under here, guess what this is? This is an i7 CPU. So I'm going to remove these four screws, take off the heat sink and get down to the CPU. And then we're going to look it up and see how much the CPU is worth. Okay, so it was these four screws here. I removed them. When you take this off, be very careful. When you take it off, I already removed it. See the thermal paste? It's usually stuck to it. And if you pull too hard, your damage depends on the CPU. So we have this removed. Now we have to unscrew this screw that's under the tape and it's going to release the CPU and we can lift it off and get the identifiers off it and look it up and see how much it's worth. Once again, be very careful removing this because if you pull it and it detaches, most likely the pins will be bent. And obviously we don't want to break the computer down and get down to the CPU and break it which is something I have done on more than one occasion. And it sucks because then you know you lost some money. Um, with that said, I'm going to remove the CPU. We'll look up the identifiers and we'll see how much money we have here. All right, now check this out. When I turn the screw, watch it move. This is open and close. When you turn like that, she's open. You want to remove the CPU, you can lift it. Yeah, that's gold plate just to let you know. So if you have a lot of these and they're not worth reselling, collect them, 
and sell them for the gold. All right, now let's look this up. You gotta be careful handling. You don't wanna damage any of the pins because it, it won't work. So uh, you don't wanna be very gentle with it. We're gonna clean it up some, get the numbers off it, and we're gonna see which version of I-7 this is. I usually remove the heat sink when it looks like this because it's been through a lot. You usually will find spiders and bugs inside here, depending on where the computer was at. And we have like copper number two here. So you would scrap this for the copper content and, um, you know, make what you can make. Once again, you want to collect so that way you have enough to scrap. You don't want to just take one piece in there. You want to take some pounds. Uh, I try to go for like 25 pounds or more and, um, you know, you go turn it in and make some money. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. There you go, SRO3F. Let's look that up and see what we got. DVD drive is an ABALB or rather model UJ882. We're going to look that up and see how much that is worth. The Wi-Fi that it was using is an Intel Centrino Wireless N plus WiMAX 6150. We're going to look that up and see how much that is worth. Okay, let's look the board up. Main board U46E. Try to see if we got any other identifiers to really look it up. We might be able to use that. I don't know if that's gonna give us a result for the RAM, but we'll see what we can do and we're gonna look it up and try to find this exact board.